If you're new to Godot and GDScript, then this just might help you out. Today we're looking at a while loop and how to use it. What's up everybody, welcome to my pixel. As always, it's awesome to have you here. So today we're going to look at the while loop. The while loop lets us execute a set of statements over and over as long as a specified condition is met. We're starting off with an array named fruits with a bunch of strings in it and a simple integer variable named fruits counter which we're going to put to use in a little bit. Inside of our ready function, we first set our text box equal to a string which you've seen in earlier videos so there's nothing special here. What we are interested in though is this line of code right here. While fruits.size is greater than zero. Here's where we begin to use our while loop. In this case, our while loop will execute all the statements indented below it as long as our condition is true. In other words, when fruits.size, which is the number of elements in our array, becomes zero, the while loop will stop executing the rest of its code. Right now we have three elements in our array, apple, banana, and orange. That means that fruits.size is equal to three. Since three is greater than zero, the while loop will execute the code contained within it. The first thing we're doing within the while loop is removing the last element of the array with the code fruits.popback. This will make our array one element smaller every time we go through the loop. Next, we just increment our fruits counter integer by one. After that, we have an if statement. If the size of our array is still greater than zero, we just add the value of fruits.counter to the text box along with a comma. Following that, our else statement basically says that if there are no elements left in the array, then we must be on the last element, in which case we want to end the sentence in our text box with the value of the counter and the string fruits followed by a period. Now we can run the game to see what we have. As you can see, we counted the three fruits to match the three elements that our array started with. Now how about we try adding another element to our array and see what we get. Here let's just go ahead and add in cherry to our list of fruits. Now we count to four fruits to match the new number of elements in our array. The while loop also offers a couple of ways to control the execution of the statements within the loop. Here, once our fruits counter is equal to 3, we'll use the break statement to stop this round or iteration and all further iterations of the while loop. So what we should expect to see here is that our text box will only contain the numbers 1 and 2 because once our counter is equal to 3, we would have broken out of the while loop and we didn't get a chance to add the number 3 to the text box. And as expected, we see that we've only counted up to 2. Let's go ahead and try one other way to control our loop. First, we simply comment out a break statement because we don't need it right now. Instead, we'll be using the continue statement. This time, when the fruits counter is equal to 3, all the code in the while loop that comes after will be skipped, but unlike with the break statement, the while loop will still go into its next iteration. So here, we should see that the numbers 1 and 2 will get put into the text, the number 3 will be skipped, and the loop will continue on and put the number 4 in along with the sentence ending. And just like we thought, it counted 1, 2, skipped to number 3, and then finished off with 4. The while loop provides us with a way to do a lot of work with minimal code and is commonly found in use with arrays and other large sets of data. If you liked today's video, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on what's coming up next. The sprites, source code, and everything else that I've used in this tutorial today is available for download on my Patreon page, so if you want to check that out and also support the channel, the link is in the description. Thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.